Hey everyone, welcome back to Together We Are Thursdays. Today is going to be a really special video because my dear friend Azriel is here. And um, she has an ED too, so she's going to be joining in in the conversation. Everyone say hi to Azzy. Hi guys. So we were just talking, our drummer picked the topic for this week, and it's about positive coping techniques you can do when you have like bad emotions, what to do. And um, Azzy and I, and Yachai, <laughs> who needs to be in the video, we're just talking, and um, Azzy remembers a lot from therapy about this. We thought we'd just start talking about different ways we've coped with stuff, and um, see and if any of it's useful. And a good coping feel with cats. Yeah, <laughs> therapy animals, oh my goodness, seriously, just having a warm furry to snuggle up with is like unbelievably amazing therapy. And my therapy animal's over there behind something. I need... Yo, tilty head. <laughs> What's up? With the actual tail wagging back and forth. <laughs> so yeah, therapy animals, you know, there's no judgment. It's just the most pure yeah. love and... See, like this. Yachai's supporting Azzy right now. Snuggling up close. How cute she is. And they've actually done studies with animals that show that petting an animal would lower your blood pressure and helps people heal faster after surgery and stuff. And definitely for, like, anxiety and depression and different things, it's really, really amazing, like, how much they help. I was, like, morbidly depressed before I got my first therapy dog. Mm. So, just a little backstory on Azzy. Um, she has a severe stutter, so sometimes you'll see her writing things, and I'll read what she writes. And she was just writing about my mom would ban, like, music is really cathartic for her and helpful. And her mom would ban the music because she liked metal, like, hard metal and stuff. So, that had to be hell. I like, you needed the release and couldn't have yeah, it. Yeah, I couldn't have it. <laughs> Is that when you started cutting? And stuff? Um, not, no, no, but but um, it 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 got got um way worse, way worse, and um, yeah. Because you couldn't have your yeah. music. Yeah. 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 Well, 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 like I couldn't have um anything really during that time. It was like really bad for me. Oh yeah, like she took her door down. Yeah. She had no privacy. Can you imagine a teenager with no privacy? Yeah, no bad. privacy. I. I had a uh, no, no, a uh, uh, computer. computer. Oh my god, so you're fully cut off. Yeah, I was completely cut off. And yeah, <laughs> it was bad. Yeah, seriously. Like, okay, so in that note, I like, don't. You're not coming up, honey. Just so you see what I'm trying to resist here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this, do you know how hard it is to say no to a little pug that's crying? Like, I'm sorry, baby. We gotta finish our video, honey. Then you can come up, okay? Sorry it's so dark in here, by the way, guys. We're in my mom's room. Mr. Empath's taking a nap, so, yes. Can you resist that? Because I seriously have a hard time. Anyway. So, music. Music's really huge for me, and I find that it's very much a mood thing, depending on what I'm listening to. I leave, please, honey. Not now. No. Get down. We'll cuddle you after. Give us a few minutes. Yeah, like, if I'm in a really intense mood, I, there are certain songs that I associate with certain memories or feelings, yeah, and I can thing. totally change my mood just by a song, usually, but yeah. definitely several. Yeah. We have, like, our favorite stuff we go to, like... Yeah. If um, we're mad... If, if we're mad, it's... Uh, <laughs> death metal. Death metal. If we're happy, it's like, um... I'm Arabic. Arabic, yeah. Or Indian. Yeah. Or positive things. Uh, oh, distraction. We were talking about that, too. Yeah. Like, what are some good distractions? Um, some good distractions are, like, um... Um, uh... TV. TV. Yep. Um, showering, walking. Yeah, showering. Huge. Walking's a huge one for you, huh? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah, used to huge. do that. We have huge... Walking in. Yeah, it's um, really, really, if you're allowed to exercise, it's a great method to cope. Yeah. Um, You can just kind of meditate as you're, like, you just get like in, in your thoughts. But if if you're really suffering, like. In, like, a trance. For Yeah, for me, too. Like For I, me, when, when, when you um, walk. walking, I'll, 
I'll um, go into, um, I hope I'm showing you, I hate this thing. Oh, oh yeah, um, um, and, and another world, almost. Oh, wow, yeah. When, when walking, so. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'll t t I tend to do that too. Sometimes it's bad because I will get into bad thoughts. Mm. But that's why it helps, like, if you're walking somewhere really pretty or nature which is why Azzy loves to walk here because it's gorgeous. We have awesome walking trails yeah. and it's such a great time of year. Of course, it's getting cold now, which is why there probably is only going to be a few more videos of me. Like, my green behind me that you guys know I love so much. It's just too cold today, so we came in. Yeah. Really? No. So. Writing. Yeah, writing. Oh my god, writing for me. Um, I have to, like. I'm like a. Just to get it out. It's like a thought purge, writing. Or vlogging if you guys aren't writers and you just get on here and vent, you know. And yeah, I mean. The community will give you a ton of support. Just being in the moment. Um, yeah, like. Like, almost like, um, hype. <laughs> hype. Hype. Hyper? Hype, hyper focused on, 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 oh, yeah, uh, what, what you're, you're um, doing, um, yeah, like, um, yeah, just being aware of it, like, reconnecting to the stuff around you, getting out of your head, yeah, like, this is a chair, this is a plant, like, that kind of grounding stuff, yeah, yeah, hyper focused on, 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 oh, yeah, uh, what, what you're, you're um, doing, um, yeah, like, um, yeah, just being aware of it, like, really reconnecting to the stuff around you, getting out of your head, yeah, like, this is a chair, this is a plant, like, that kind of grounding stuff, yeah, 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 and, and, like, the, the, um, sounds you, you hear, oh, yeah, stuff. it does, it helps to ground you and get you out of those icky thoughts, or especially if you deal with anxiety, it'll help you, yeah, Counting um, helps with that, too. Like... Yoga. Yoga, yeah. A lot yeah, of people yeah. do yoga. Or Pilates or dance. Yeah. As he does belly dance. Well, I used to. Oh, <laughs> uh, you still do sometimes. Yeah, a little bit, but yeah. Yeah. Sewing's a big one for you. Yeah, sewing is, yeah. So, distraction is a big... Um, okay, but things that... I think the specific question was, like, things that make you happy... Um, so for me, I love baking and cooking and stuff. I love it, oh, especially yeah. if somebody's like gonna appreciate it. Like me, it just, no. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> me too. But my hubby, like, it just makes me feel so like I have some worth. Like I can make something that someone else would appreciate. Yeah. You know, you're probably like that with your sewing. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. am. Like lately, um, people in Azzy's apartment complex have been bringing her mending because she's yeah. really into sewing and she gets to make a few bucks each time yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. a huge like you know your worth like yeah because people are coming to you to fix stuff oh yeah but just you know like and i've talked about this before too but like if you make a list of your the like, good qualities about you or things that you're grateful for the positive and healing challenge which i've been doing for several years you know things not the guilt trip shit, like, oh, you know, people are suffering everywhere, things could be worse, and, but more just, like, calling to consciousness the good things around you. Yeah. It just helps you not feel so, like, everything's horrible. I'm with Anna Girl, what? Oh, because you're here? Yeah. Aww. Yeah, yeah, it's like a positive. Yeah, like, visiting a good friend is really, yeah. really good. Some, especially somebody you feel safe with that you can talk to about, like, the really deep stuff you don't tell anyone. Uh -huh. And if you don't have a friend like that, talk to us. We're here for you. Yeah. Seriously, you know? Yeah. Um, We're always here for you. That's why, you know, me and the Together We Are team, support groups. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes, and it doesn't have to be, you know, through your therapist or through school. You could... A great site is meetup.com. If you have, like, certain interests, you can go and look for different meetups in your area or start one. And it's basically, I mean, they've got Stitch and Bitch for sewing. Mm -hmm. I go to pug meetups. Everybody with puggies comes. We go to the park in the summer. I haven't been lately because I've been too sick, but 
it's wonderful. Like, just engaging in something you love to do and meeting other people. If you if you have, like, people anxiety, though, because I know you have, like, anxiety with yeah, people. Yeah, I do. Um, How do you cope with, like, being out? Um, oh, oh, with the bug, with being out. Um, um, knowing that, um, knowing I will be glad when it's over. That's true. Like, both of us have this issue of procrastinating because we have a lot of trauma from just bad experiences resulting from not being able to be as successful as we'd like or something. And I do have to push myself. Yeah. Like, getting out. It's hard. Yeah, it is hard. If you're, if you have anxiety or low self-esteem or whatever, you know, or like me being sick, it's so, it's such a pain in the ass to get up and get out the door. I do have to push myself. Okay, because of my high weight. I feel people judge. Yeah. Um, Addie's ED is really unique. She cycles between extremes, which I used to. I started out with BED and COE and then ended up going to the other side, but Azzy all her life has, like, swung from one to the other. Yeah. But it's messed up, too, because when you're thin, you still don't feel like you're... No, I never, I, no, yeah. So, yeah, like, yeah. dealing with that is hard. Of course, as you can tell, I'm struggling. Um, to be, <laughs> Yeah. But she's been doing really good, you guys. Leave support because she hasn't been since she's been here. I know, which, which is amazing. Thing. I know, right? So. Yeah. So, super cool. So, there's some handfuls of ideas. Um, let us know what your positive, positive, I can't talk, positive coping skills. <laughs> Tell us your positive coping skills in the comments. <laughs> um, and the question of the week was, if you could live anywhere in the world, where and why? Oh, God. I know. Do I really have to ask this question? Yep. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I bet I know what you're stuck between. I can, I can, I can only give one. I know, right? No, damn. I, know. <laughs> um, I have the same issue. I'm like, what do you mean I have to pick one? Like, whenever there's these questions, I can never know. I can narrow it down, but I can't pick one. Uh, okay. uh, hmm. So we'll just cheat. <laughs> um, Egypt, food, um, culture, music, um, dance. Um, but, but, like, my, my, um, first choice would, would be England. England, really? Yeah, yeah UK. Yeah, England, um, second Norway, third Oh, Egypt. Norway! Yeah. Really, Egypt is third for yeah, you? Yeah, Egypt would be third, yeah. Wow, that shocked me. What, or India, too. Yeah, yeah, in, in, India also. Food, culture, dance, music. Yeah. Love it. So, what about you guys? Tell us what you think. And, um, just to let you know... I really apologize for not getting my ED story video up last week. I've been really, really sick and in bed a lot and dealing with a lot of crap and, of course, having my friend here, my best friend here, and, um, yeah, so I'm working on it, and it will go up. I just don't know when, but I want to let you guys know, like, I didn't blow it off or anything. I'm working on it. Thank you to everyone, all the new vloggers. I'm so excited. It's wonderful to have you. So that's it for this week. And um, much love and be well, and special thanks to Azzy oh. for joining me. And I hope you guys have a good week. Much love, be well, and seriously, we're here for you. If you need support, just reach out. That's why we're here. So. Much love. See you next week. Bye. Bye.